Hey guys, what's going on? Glad to be back. Counting out more videos for you guys. And back onto my bike. I mean, couldn't have asked for a better day. I mean, I got back from Panama. It was 100 degrees every day. It was fantastic. Uh, got back, and it rained for two days straight. So, oh well, we're back at it, making video and putting out content. Hope y'all enjoy it. Do me a favor, if you're watching this video, like the video, drop a comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. That's all I ask. Just smash that subscribe button, blow it up. Uh, that would absolutely make my day if I woke up to a thousand subscribers. You have no idea. Blow this thing up, smash that like, subscribe button, drop your comments down below. Uh, yeah. Let it make it happen, guys. Appreciate y'all. It's such a beautiful day today. Hopefully y'all seen my uh, previous video. It would have been my uh, 2,000 mile review. If not, make sure y'all check that out after this video. Or head on over there now. Whatever, whatever pleases you. Uh, glad to be back, guys. Glad to be back. I've missed this thing. It's been over a week since I actually was on the bike, so feels like it's been forever. I don't even want to get off of it. I went to ride across town. I've been on it for an hour and 45 minutes now. Just riding around. See what we can get into today, boys. The boat. Let me know if y'all would actually buy my Chaos merchandise if I started merchandising. Let me know, because I'm curious. I see everybody promoting merchandise. Never really dawned on me, and then I was just sitting here thinking, I wonder if anybody would actually buy my merchandise. I wouldn't charge outrageous amount like some of these, but I'd probably do at cost, plus like a dollar in shipping. Like I ain't trying to rape nobody or nothing like that. I'm just curious if it would actually sell. But let me know down below in the comments. Do like some uh, mythical chaos uh, animation, riding a motorcycle or something crazy like that. I don't know. Just throwing stuff out there. But let me know if y'all would be interested in that. I'm curious. Or have him like have like uh, the chaos mythical god riding a motorcycle head on with a dragon just like a huge implosion where I wrecked on the dragon that'd be fun so yeah let me know if y'all be interested in something like that I've been thinking about it and then I was like whatever and then it just dawned on me, what if I sold merchandise to you guys, to my fans? That'd be fun. Just let me know. I have a place, a few places here in town that make tees and stuff like that. So it would be nothing. Get some tees and stickers rolling out. Just let me know if y'all would be interested in something like that. If it's one or two of you, I might just send it to you just for the heck of it. But... If there's more than a couple that would actually be interested, let me know and I'll I'll start something up. I know I'm a small channel, but I don't care. One subscriber is the same as a million subscribers to me. I like all my fans, so yeah, that's it on that. Just something I've been thinking about. And if any of y'all have like a ZX6R like 2018 or newer that you're just going to throw in a dumpster somewhere, let me know and I'll come pick it up from you. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. I know better. Carrot, that's the rock. Oh, come on. For the love of everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, you should go over there and buy a lawnmower. It probably moves faster than this. Y'all learn if you watch my videos enough. I talk a bunch of crap, but I really I I'm chill as all get out. I have no I have no care whatsoever as far as all these people go as long as I make it home safe. I just love talking crap. My whole relationship with my fiance is built on talking crap to each other. So it's what I do, I'm good at it, so might as well enjoy it. I'm thinking I got the tattoos and all, but I'm thinking once I get uh, monetized or whatever, I'll go and get a tattoo resembling my YouTube channel. Just because I like tattoos that much, I think it'd be pretty sick. Probably something similar to what I was talking about with the graphic designs and whatnot. Something with the uh, mythical chaos motorcycle collab, something. Something like that anyway. Make sure y'all smash that uh, subscription button and I'll make it happen. I'll get a chaos tattoo. Ah, oh, it's raining. No! It can't rain. I needed to turn there. Son of a gun. Gosh, I don't have my jacket or nothing. Hopefully it's just a spur right there. Oh yeah, it was supposed to start raining at 4. That's why I left it at 3. And it's now 4.45, so... Yeah. Motorcycle law. Ah, uh, no. My feet are slipping. I made the worst mistake. I got new boots and I was so excited to wear them. Non-motorcycle boots. But they're so comfortable. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try these out on the motorcycle. Not thinking the bottom soles, the outer soles are completely smooth. Like lawn dancing boots. I guess they're like uh, dress boots or whatever, but they're Ariats. I figured they had the same bottom outer soles as your work boots. And my feet keep slipping off the pegs because there's no traction whatsoever. So that's fun. It's a big tree. Went to the chiropractor today to get realigned because my back's been killing me. My lower back. Got there, told him what was going on. Cracked my neck, that was awesome. Went to crack my back, looks at me and goes, that's tight, I can't do anything with that. So I gotta go back in two days to try and get it worked out a little bit more. So yeah, I guess I put it off a little bit too long. Hopefully, that's part of my issue with my back and the seat. Hopefully once I get straightened back out, the seat will no longer be an issue. But we'll see. But I'm getting a ZX6R, it's only a matter of time. So whenever that happens, I won't be worried about it anymore. Hopefully the seat on the ZX6R is better than this. If any of y'all have a ZX6R, let me know how the seat is, because I've not even got to sit on one. I've been going for, I don't know, six months before I got my bike to try and get a ZX6R before I found this. And I settled on it. It wasn't a mistake. Best inconvenience of my life, because if I had a ZX6R, I'd probably be dead by now. Or in the hospital somewhere with how easy this thing is to rod but regardless I've went looked hundreds of times for a ZX6R never had one I haven't had the luxury of sitting on one to even compare it they had one when I took my bike in from uh, for the tires to get changed they had one sit on the showroom floor it was the first one I've seen in probably a year and I was in a hurry I didn't even get to sit on it or anything so 
If any of y'all have a ZX6R, let me know how the rod comfortability is as far as the seat goes. I know obviously it's not going to be a cruiser. You're not going to want to ride it for cross-country tours or anything like that, most likely. But it, like the seat kills me on this thing. So just let me know down in the comments how, how the ZX6R compares, if you even know. It looks wider and it looks softer, so... I would assume it's better because that's my complaints. It's hard and narrow. So my back and my butt kill me. I wish I wasn't following traffic. I wanna do hood rat shit. I could pass them, but there's just another one in front of them. Oh well. Just cruising the speed limit. It's gonna start raining. I need to hurry up and get home. Looks like it's gonna be raining, boys. Dang, look at that truck. Look at the truck. Got a stack coming out the hood. I put my uh max view lens back on so hopefully with the max view lens and the max view setting hopefully y'all get better video quality because i felt like the other video had better video quality but i felt like your view was limited like it was tunnel vision i like the view of the max view better so drop it down in the comments once again if you like the my previous videos before the last couple this one and my uh uh, this one in my review video, my 2000 mile review video. If you like those videos better as far as video quality or lesser than the last few videos I've done before that, let me know so I know what's what's uh, better format for you guys. I'm here to please you guys. Put up, get the top on the Jeep so I can drive it if the if it's draining too much for the bike. Cause you know, your boy in summer mode. I got the motorcycle and I got the Jeep off on the top or the top off on the Jeep. So I don't have a plan B if it's raining. So gotta think about these things. Usually I just throw a towel down in the seat of the Jeep and let it rod. I go off-roading so much that my interior is covered in mud anyway, so I just call rain time bath time. She's getting a bath on the inside. Oh, 
hazards on this road. Note to self, don't jump the railroad tracks on this road. Too much hazards afterwards. Well, this is probably a boring video, but I had fun. Close her out with jumping railroad tracks, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Absolutely obliterate it. Break it. Do what you gotta do. But until next time, deuces. Y'all have a good one. See ya.